Georgia is located at the strategically important crossroads where Europe meets Asia. Here, in the town called Manisi, archaeologists found a one in the 75 million year old skulls that challenged the art of Africa theory. Many researchers agree that they were the ancestors of the first humans in Europe. According to the ancient Greek myth, when Jason and the Argonauts arrived in Colchis to climb the Golden Fleece on the heart of local king's daughter, they witnessed many wonders, and among them hanging vineyards and fountains that gushed wine. The myth is supported by the archaeological findings. Archaeologists possess a number of material evidences, including 7,000 years old cultivated gravestones and many more very antique vessels. Georgia is the homeland of wine, says a greater part of the world's competent experts. The wine in Georgia has an iconic significance. It is a symbol of regeneration, of wealth and plenty. Perhaps because of this, the grape harvest in Georgia is more than just a celebration. It is a statement of identity and of attachment to the land, accompanied by a very special Georgian table, with singing, toasting and merrymaking, so hauntingly depicted by the great Georgian painter Piros Mani. Winemaking remained the basis of Georgia's economy for centuries. As far as in the 18th century, the capital of Georgia, Felici, was regarded as the international center for wine trade, with special districts within the city limits for wine tasting. One of such districts was Sirajkhana, presently known as Wine Uphill. It was the part of town with a great number of caravanserais and wine cellars. This love affair with the grape is still the very part of every true Georgian's flesh and bone. Georgia, cradle of wine.